This Kettle and Living segment is sponsored by JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars, an enhanced adult beverage experience in Sioux Falls. You often hear talk of women hitting the glass ceiling as they climb the ladder to career success. It takes a rare woman to shatter that ceiling. Yet that is exactly what today's Across the Table guest has done. I sat down with Beth Ormseth at JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars and discovered that she didn't climb the ladder to success. Instead, she zigzagged her way to a position of leadership. Beth, thanks for joining me here. Thank you, glad to be here. Margaritas. Mm -hmm. I've had, I'll say, the luxury of knowing you for a long time and getting to learn a lot from you and also just experience life with you. Mm -hmm. You've done so many different things in leadership though and a lot of times in really male dominated areas and through a lot of ups and downs, especially in banking. How did you manage through all those times? You know, when I started my career, I started at entry level and I never forgot where I came from. And I think I've carried that with me through my whole career. Two, I, I've done a lot of different things in the same company and I, and I think a lot of times people think the way to build a career is to go straight up the ladder, where it's really more of a zigzag. It's back and forth, it's up, it's back and forth, it's lateral. And I think the people who are able to build a career and become strong leaders are those who are capable of doing that because you learn so much. You get shared experiences with a lot of different kinds of people, whether they're male or female. And I think that adds to um, you know, becoming a strong leader. I think I'd probably say lastly that I was not afraid to take risks. I've taken some positions in my career that I felt like I wasn't quite ready for. And I think, you know, I've read this, I don't remember where, but men think that if they have 50% of the skills, they're ready. And women feel like they have to have 80% of the skills to be ready. And I feel like I have, um, on a few occasions, taken some risks when I felt like, Maybe I'm 50% ready for this, and even though that can be fearful, um, I didn't let it stop me. And I think that's a big contributor to, you know, how I've had such a wonderful, wonderful and satisfying career. I think I met you at one of those times where I was maybe in over my head. You were. Yeah. <laughs> Should we talk about that? Yeah. Yeah. You can. Can I tell, tell that story? Tell my, your first impression yes. of me. Yeah. I'll so, get a drink first, though. So. Okay. So. I was on uh, the site leadership team for a very large bank here in Sioux Falls. Um, I was a pretty tenured director in the company. You were in the management associate program, I believe, at the mm -hmm. time, the training program. You were probably 24, 25-ish. 25 probably, yeah. Yeah, I was 40-ish at the time. And um, you were invited to come be a part of the site leadership team. And you came in very brash, very excited, full of ideas. Who, me? Yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still that way. But, um, and I remember being, you know, the, here I am, the experienced, tenured leader, right? And who is this Ashley that thinks she knows all these things? And, and one of my peers um, had met you, too, and actually I think was a mentor to you yeah. for a while. And I said something to her about it, and she said to me, she said, Beth, you need to give Ashley a chance. Ashley's really smart. She's young, she's different, she's got great ideas. Give her a chance. And so I did, and I was completely wrong. I was wrong. Got that on you camera. Know, yeah. yeah, yep, it's on camera. I've learned a lot from a lot of different people, um, older, younger, male, female, um, but you know, I learned something from you. That, well, it's been yeah. a pleasure along yeah. the way. We've gone through a lot of things together too, a mm -hmm. lot of community things, mm -hmm. um, volunteered a lot together. Why is it important to you to be involved in the community? Mm -hmm. When I feel pretty strongly about something, I feel very strongly about it. And I think some of that comes from, you know, my family history and um, I had two strong parents. As I got older, I think it became even stronger for me. And I have been fortunate to work for two big companies that have commitment to those types of, of investments, charitable inve investments, nonprofits, 
encourage participation in those things. I've been a big supporter of the arts in Sioux Falls for a long time. Been involved with the Sioux Falls Jazz and Blues Society for many years. You know, more recently I've been venturing outside of the arts world and volunteering at Feeding South Dakota, which is really fun. I think, you know, while Sioux Falls is a very affluent small city, I think the food insecurity in this community gets ignored sometimes. And I love going there and just putting in the physical labor and you can actually see what you've done when you spent three hours with a group of 15 people and you packed 1,200 bags for the backpack program. Speaking of beliefs and being an activator, mm -hmm. you had the really cool experience of going to D.C. to the Women's mm -hmm. March. Tell me about that. Well, that was probably one of the greatest experiences of my life. Everybody was there. Um, really to say we all matter in this world and so it became something more than just about women's rights it became more about human rights to me and that's something that's especially important to mm -hmm. you too and especially being an advocate for LGBTQ I a two-spirit plus right I'm gonna you're close I'm yeah close. Yes. okay but yeah. why is that something that's so important to you well I well I I have a son who came out to me when he was 15 it caused me to have to learn a lot about what it means to be LGBTQ. It is difficult. Um, and so I have really tried to not only to support my son, but to support friends now and friends who have children who are LGBTQ. And, and, and it's even changed, you know, in the 15 years since my son told me that, right? I mean, just by, based on what you just said, right? The advent of, you know, you know, pronouns and non-binary symbols and things is very important because I think it's we need to acknowledge how people feel and respect how they feel. And speaking of family, I think you know your life really has taken a little bit of a shift mm -hmm. with your grandkids mm -hmm. too and being such a big part of your life. Tell me about your tell me about Millie and your other and your grandkids. So my daughter Millie is a teacher in Sioux Falls. She teaches in the Challenge Center. She has two beautiful daughters and they're just, especially with Maya, she, I can just see how different she is even from when I raised my kids. You know, she sees things differently and she's exposed to more and her level of language and intelligence is pretty amazing to me. And I think that's gonna happen with all of our children at that age. Why it's important for those of us who are older to help support that and understand what it means to be a woman in this world and a black person in this world and LGBTQ or however you want to call whatever your pronoun is because it's going to continue to evolve and we can either understand it and support it and be their ally or not because I'm telling you kids today are allies. I'll choose to that. Yeah. And to you and friendship and thank you for sitting down with me today too. Thank you for the margarita. At JJ's, they like to say they provide an enhanced adult beverage experience, and we think that's just perfect to sum up the great food and drinks and the great people you'll run into at JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars. They're located at 3000 West 57th Street in Sioux Falls. You can find out more about their specials and events by checking out their website at jjswine.com. And don't forget dessert from the Boozy Bakery. Check out the Boozy Bakery and JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars online to see what is available for takeout or to have right in JJ's Bar. If you are interested in ordering food from the Boozy Bakery Kitchen for carryout or curbside delivery, please visit the Boozy Bakery at jjswine.com and click on the Boozy Bakery tab. This Kellen Living segment is sponsored by JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars and Enhanced Adult Beverage Experience in Sioux Falls.